Looks like a lot of people find you out about the place. That's good. Better than stagnating, because how long have you been open? Uh, I've been open three and a half years. Three and a half years. See, I opened my shop and then all of a sudden, like, your, and your mom opened shortly after that. Yep, yep. So. Yeah, she just redid her, her store a little bit, too. Yeah, I saw the outside of the window. It looks like Yeah, they took the, the bars off. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking of doing, just because it looks better. Yeah. I was like, the look of it was nice. And then she, like, did something on the window going all the way across. Yeah, she changed the, the name thing. Because before it said gold and silver, and now it just says jewelry roundup. And she's gotten a lot more people just coming in doing jewelry stuff, which is good. Absolutely. Because that's what she's trying to transition to more instead of just bullion, you know? Yeah, so this morning all of a sudden I decided to, like, I don't know what, why I was running late. And when I mean running late, meaning I was going to get be here at 730. Yeah. So it isn't like you were running really late, but I'm saying it was running late, and then I decided that I was speeding, I guess, and then uh, and then and then after that happened, uh, I got pulled over and everything. I like crossed the lane and everything in front of the damn cop and everything. Oh shit! Like sped up to you know cross the lane and then it was like oh shit I cut him off. Yeah. Then and then he just pulled me over and everything. Uh, yeah. Was it APD or sheriff? Uh, I think it was APD, one of the, one of the SUVs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was APD. And so APD just pulled me over and it was like, I even pulled him out there. I said, fuck, I can't believe that I did that. Did that? No ticket, no nothing. Oh, really? Yeah. He even came back and he goes, uh, he said, hey, uh, he said, go ahead and take off. And, I said, are you serious? And he's all, yeah. And I said, hey, dude, I'm fucking sorry that I did that. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that I even did it. I'm sitting here and so from now on, you know, it'll help because I really shouldn't have got a warning probably, but since I did get one, I'm going to make it, uh, you know, make it worth it for that dude and, and you know, slow down and yeah. the speeding is coming to an end. Don't get pulled over right away. Well, yeah, and it just really can't happen again. But that would be embarrassing. It's like, oh, we gave you a chance. <laughs> it would be fucking up right away. And it wasn't one of those warning chances where I've had that before, where they give you a warning and it's like, oh, if you get pulled over within this time frame, it's, he just straight up didn't hear it. Was like, you can tell that if I was, you know, I'm on my way to work, it wasn't like I'm out doing a drug deal and fucking. Yeah. Well, the shift change had just happened, too, if it was that early. So he was going to be like, whatever. He was just starting to do it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what time is shift change? Seven and seven. So he was brand new. That's why he was in a good mood. Yeah, he looked like he was just going off too. He hadn't been yelled at yet. But yeah, somebody yeah. might well. Oh my god, I know, dude. <laughs> Everything I've heard is not, not good. Man. 